an unexpected twist in the trial involving North Abaco MP Kirk Cornish that has thrown the case back to square one. Fern Carey tells us what's behind the setback and the need for a restart. As soon as a six-man, three-woman jury was seated in court Wednesday, presiding Justice Renee McKay indicated that it had come to her attention that a member of the panel had a close connection with the leader of the official opposition. She then discharged the jury and ordered that all parties return to court on May 8th at 2 p.m. when a date will be set for a new trial. This latest twist comes as the woman North Abaco MP Kirk Cornish is accused of raping, assaulting, and threatening, told her side of the story in court on Tuesday in an emotional recall. The prosecution star witness, who is also a medical doctor, alleged that on January 20th, 2023, while in Cooperstown, Abaco, Cornish flew into a rage after she received a call from a friend. She said he choked and stabbed her in the eye and also said that he should just put a bullet in her head. The 35-year-old also told the court that on another occasion, Cornish attacked her with a knife and that he raped her on March 25th and April 4th of last year. She alleged that after sexually assaulting her on the first occasion, Occasion, Cornish spat on her and that after sexually assaulting her a month later he said quote this is what you want the monster you got it the prosecution witness says she didn't initially make a complaint to police about the alleged abuse because she and Cornish were in a relationship and she did not want to embarrass him however she said she later filed a police report attorneys Basil Cumberbash and Vashti Bridgewater are prosecuting the case while attorneys Ty Pindamaki and Lenique Murphy Grant are defending in Cornish. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Fern Carey. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Saturn Ass.